Hey, what's going on guys? Hey, welcome back to another episode of Bad Beast Barbecue. Hey, today we are going to be doing a bacon versus bacon battle, okay? We're gonna take some regular bacon and we're gonna put it up against the new Johnsonville sausage bacon that just came out, all right? We got two different versions. We got the original and we got the maple, okay? Johnsonville makes four different ones. Uh, they have a spicy and they have a chorizo, okay? So all we're gonna do is we're gonna take the bacon, we're gonna put it on a rack, we're gonna stick it on one of the smokers. Uh, preferably, we're gonna use the uh, Rectech 700 today and we're gonna see how the bacon comes out and how the sausage bacon comes compares to uh, regular bacon, okay? So, hey, don't go nowhere and hang around and watch this bacon versus bacon results. All right, guys, so we finished with our cook about bacon versus bacon versus bacon uh, competition. If you uh, And so here I have the original. Here I have the maple of the Johnsonville sausage bacon. And in the middle is the Oscar Mayer bacon, okay? So um, the one thing I do want to say is that I like the fact that the Johnsonville sausage bacon does not produce as much grease as a normal strip of bacon. You know, a normal strip of bacon has a lot of fat on it. The Johnsonville did not, and so the bacon, of course, as usual, produced a lot of grease and a lot of smoke, whereas the Johnsonville sausage, uh, while it's, you can see it has some fat in it, uh, it did not produce as much um, smoke, um, thereby cooking much better, in my opinion, okay? Um, also, we had the rec tech set at 400 degrees. Uh, between the two different types of bacon, it said 400 and 425 for 12 to 15 minutes and so uh i'm gonna be honest with you we burnt the first batch just because i was sitting there watching tv and wasn't paying attention so but uh this is the second batch and it came out fine okay but you have to watch it because the sausage uh, bacon is already fully cooked it doesn't take that long it just depends on the amount of crispiness that you want uh to gain um with your your sausage bacon okay uh the one thing i can say also is that the sausage bacon did not shrink very much, okay? Um, whereas the bacon will always shrink because of the amount of fat that it used and uh, has and the amount of grease that is produced. The uh, Johnsonville sausage maintained its shape and its length. It still kept that same, you know, bacon-like uh, shape. So I think that's pretty good, especially if you're going to use that bacon, that sausage bacon to wrap around scallops, um, jalapenos for jalapeno poppers and what have you then i think that will probably be uh work out a little bit better than uh, in bacon and then uh and if you know if you have a recipe where you're going to use thick bacon you know how long that takes to render uh then i think that the sausage bacon would probably work out better but we it's all in the taste and so we're going to go ahead and taste them and we're going to see exactly uh what they taste like so let's get started all right, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to try the normal bacon first. And, of course, I know what normal bacon tastes like, but I got to have a starting point. So tastes like regular bacon. Now, this Oscar Mayer bacon was the maple bacon also. So that's going to be a good comparison to the maple bacon, the maple sausage bacon from Johnsonville, okay? All right, so let's go ahead and try the original. And it's nice and crispy. I mean, it depends on how long you cook it as to how crispy it get. You don't want to burn it, but... Um, you see it holds the shape really good, so that's good. I gotta say I like that very much, that original sausage bacon flavor. I thought it was gonna be overly salty, um, but it's not 
salty at all really it's got a good balance of flavor some good seasoning in it nice and crispy um I think I like that just a little bit better than the bacon, of course, depending on what bacon that you buy. Okay, this is Oscar Mayer, of course, okay? All right, let's go ahead and taste our uh, our maple sausage bacon. And as you can see, I cooked this just a little bit shorter time, so it's not as firm as the original one. Um, however, it is fully cooked, so we'll go ahead and taste this one. Wow. I got to say, now, I like this maple, Johnsonville maple sausage bacon much better than the Oscar Mayer maple bacon okay it's got a great maple flavor to it it's very pronounced nice sweetness to it once again not overly salty and it's a very good product so I think the next test we're going to do probably in the next video is we're going to make some jalapeno poppers with the sausage bacon or wrap some shrimp with it and we're going to see exactly how it performs in that manner but all in all I say go ahead and go out and get you some and check it out for yourself I think you'll be pleasantly surprised, okay? All right, guys, so I really like the Johnsonville bacon. I like it a little bit better than the normal Oscar Mayer bacon, okay? I'll put the uh, nutritional value up here on the screen. As you can see, the sodium content of the sausage bacon is higher than the Oscar Mayer bacon, and the calorie count per slice is a little bit higher in the sausage bacon versus the Oscar Mayer bacon. Uh, there's a big difference in price. The Oscar Mayer bacon costs about $10 for a pack, whereas the Johnsonville sausage bacon costs like $6.70, roughly 70 cents, okay? So, um, but you know, check it out for yourself. See if you like it. Uh, I think it's gonna come in uh, really handy uh, on a lot of different recipes where you would normally use bacon. Um, and, uh, and you can substitute the sausage flavor uh, instead, so. Um, well, uh, that's about it. Uh, remember, we cooked this on a Rectec uh, 700. So if you guys are interested in a Rectec grill, check out Rectec.com. They got some fantastic stuff out there, and they got some great customer service, okay? Well, that's about it. I think I'll take this bacon sitting here on my cutting board and make me a SLT, a SBLT, a sausage, bacon, lettuce, and tomato sandwich and uh and get down with some blue moon okay so hey like we always say where there's smoke there's fire and if it's fire then man there just might be a barbecue there hey as always hey we'll see you guys around the smoking